A ver, un currículum adaptado a la adquisición de competencias vol dir que... A curriculum based on competence acquisition implies that the students should be active in their learning process. We know that for learning to happen, students have to be active in class and carry out the tasks autonomously rather than passively listen as if they were spectators in a cinema. Students can't build knowledge in a transmission class model, so the idea of competence acquisition implies students' responsibility and commitment to learn. Teachers should propose appropriate tasks so that students could construct knowledge step by step. In the case of maths, for example, teachers should help students build their idea of what mathematics is about, what they are for, when and how they can use them, and so on. Therefore, from a methodological perspective, a curriculum based on competence building requires a significant change in the way we conceive the learning process. The concept of competence in mathematics education is not something new to many teachers. However, the actual curriculum reinforces what they already knew. Revolutionary changes hardly happen in education, but I think many schools are already working towards a basic skills-based curriculum. This new approach involves changes in what we teach. Nowadays, everyone has easy access to information through the Internet, so it is absurd to devote much time to convey information. The important thing in teaching is help students find information. This leads to the necessity of teaching global ideas instead of very specific and isolated bits of information. The challenge is to provide students with tools for thinking and with theoretical models to be applied to the interpretation of different phenomena. Students should know how to solve not only one but many types of problems with the tools they have come to know. This means we should teach fewer things, but more general. And we must also teach how to argue, to work in teams, to interact with others, to take initiatives, to be empathetic. All these things have to be learned continuously and in collaboration with others. Then, when we change what we teach, we may also change how we teach. If we say that the students should know how to argue and take turns, this means that we need to teach them how to argue. If they have to think good questions, we might teach them how to do it. Students have to use real information rather than textbooks only. The lecture model, where only the teacher speaks, should be left behind. In a curriculum oriented towards the acquisition of competencies, the methodological approach of teaching and learning is very important. Competencies are more difficult to achieve than isolated and specific knowledge. And besides, competencies are achieved throughout life. In this context, methodology is essential. If the teacher does not give students the opportunity to do things by themselves, make mistakes, correct what they have done and become familiar with real situations, students cannot acquire these skills. The role of the teacher changes. 
The teacher must accompany the process in which children make decisions, help students to not be afraid of making mistakes. Mistakes must be seen just as a learning opportunity. This involves working with real situations where students have time to apply what they have learned. Competencies are much more than just content and therefore they are more difficult to acquire. To be more or less competent is not a question of knowing more or less maths, but it means that you can apply mathematics in different contexts and using different resources, technological, visual and communicative resources. This means that during their schooling, students should have the opportunity to put knowledge into practice. From the point of view of teachers, this involves working in a totally different way. One of the key changes in education is assessment. If we seriously rethink assessment, this will lead us to rethink what we teach and how we teach. Regarding assessment, a curriculum oriented towards the acquisition of skills reinforces the idea of the initial, formative and summative assessment. Initial assessment is used to identify which is the starting point of our students. Formative assessment is about what and how they are learning, and summative assessment gives information about what they have actually learned. When you want to know what students really know, you should not assess specific and isolated knowledge only, but you should assess if they know how to apply this knowledge and what processes they can perform. Consequently, the introduction of the concept of competencies in the curriculum provides a new approach towards assessment. Assessment tools should provide information about a student's performance and their ability to apply what they have learned to real contexts. Teachers must work in the direction of understanding how their students learn. When teachers know how students learn, they can know better how to promote learning. It is not just a matter of having or not technological resources or didactic materials. It is more important to ensure that teachers know how kids learn, to understand them better and see how they can better learn. It is not that easy. We should observe pupils in interaction with others in the classroom. Many people think that the process of learning is an individual phenomenon which occurs when one is alone, and this is not true. At a school, we are never alone. The question is how children can learn in groups and the teacher should move in that direction. Students now are not the same as before. They have other capabilities and they are more gifted than us in certain domains. We need to know at what point they are and lead them to good learning. This is the best direction to take towards competence acquisition. I often find that teachers teach the same way they have learned at college. Then I tell them, it was useful for you and now you are a math teacher. But mathematics in secondary education should be for everyone. The thing that was useful for yourself 
as a mathematician doesn't mean that it is also useful for your students. There are different kinds of students and they have to learn useful mathematics for life. Many experts back the idea of maths for life and for everyone. So I understand that teacher may have to rethink the model of how they teach. Mathematics teachers should better ask themselves why some of my classmates did not learn maths. We should really change some teaching methods to cater for differentiation and teach maths for everyone. As for the students, the first thing we want to achieve is their willingness to learn mathematics. Therefore, we should tell them that mathematics is not something abstract or boring. We have to entice them and invite them to enjoy learning maths.